Hey, Ronnie Panda here, here to bring you Tyler Roots out in this episode 12, which is the last episode. Uh, I was really, really, really disappointed with this episode, actually. Um, which is a shame, because I really, this is like, To Love Roo was one of my first harems I ever watched. Like, it was like when I was first got into anime, and I was like, oh, I've heard of this harem series, and I was like, well, let's see how bad they are from what I've been hearing. And then the first one I checked out was To Love Roo, the original, and it was like, this is actually very good. I really enjoy it. And then I realized as I watched and watched like other series, it got bad. But Darkness wasn't bad. It just had a very disappointing ending, which is like, I guess you could say, which is how a lot of harems end, is like, nothing happened. So anyway, in this episode, um, fully, 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 basically a Momo episode, and she just sort of came to realise how she felt about R Yuki, because I think her original plan was just to make the harem plan, and, you know make um Rito like be the king but she like like the other girl she saw wants her to herself and I mean there were some nice bits as well in this episode. We saw we get to see Lala in her original outfit again, which I love that outfit too so so much. It is to die for. It is it's like just so adorable. But Momo had like this own club. I think it was like the Venus Momo something. VMC I think it was Venus Momo Club. And she was separated from, like, Yuki for days, and she was basically really missing him. And at the end of the episode, like, basically, as most scenes happen in, like, a freaking... Because there were some really freaking wrong scenes. Um, there was a bit involving ice cream. At first, I thought it was ice cream smothered on Yuki's... You get where I'm going from here. Like, you get what that is. <laughs> it looked wrong. But you, but probably a lot of people watching that saying you wish you was in that position in that fantasy world. <laughs> it was just so weird. Overall, like, because I said, that's really about it. Yeah, the animation ends abruptly like that. Like, we don't get anything about um, Nemesis, about her. We don't get anything about her. We don't... It just ends. It's so weird. So overall... Season seven, a seven, a seven or a six out of ten, in my own personal opinion. I mean, I love the, the animations, tip top to this sort of stuff, but uh, how you end it, I was just so disappointed with it. It's, I wanted much more from like the last episode. I knew from episode eleven that it was either going to have a very rushed end ending, or it was just going to be, like, just um, cut off like that. So, I have a feeling that there is going to be a season two, from what I've been hearing. Like, um, I mean, I want to check the manga out, most definitely. Like, that's something I really want to do. I want to check out the manga, see how far they've gone with the story. Probably not that much. Um, but let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this episode. Um, I'll do a full series review of the uh, series, because I know I've got to do an update as well soon about everything, but thank you very much for watching, Ram, but strap that panda, sign out, and I'll see you next time, people.